now it got quiet. Thank you for coming, everybody. This is this is it's wonderful to see so many people interested in the subject of Iran-U.S. relations and the subject of ways to tell stories about Iran's and the United States past using new means. There's a lot of people really excited to, to tell those stories, and it's great to see that there's people here to hear those stories. So thank you very much for coming. My name is Mike Desev. Uh, I'm the writer of Operation Ajax, the iPad app that uh, uh, we started that that started to explore the uh, early history of, of U.S.-Iran relations. And uh, it's been an amazing journey where we learn more than we ever thought we wanted to learn, and our eyes keep getting opened again and again. So hopefully some of, uh, some of our audiences will too, and, uh, and uh, any, uh, any way it goes, it's going to be great to start talking about this stuff. We're at, the, we're at the 30th anniversary of the release of uh, the hostages from the Iran hostage crisis. That's, a, that's a, um, a moment of history I remember from my childhood by, uh, that's mostly marked from the fact that I knew almost nothing about it, except that Iran was full of terrible, terrible people that did something for some irrational reason that just obviously made them jerks. It's not, uh, it's not anything but thrilling to find more and more uh, about the history and get to the point where I can rethink everything I thought I learned back then, back in 1979, with uh, a completely fresh vision. It's a little bit, I don't know if people remember that movie, The Crying Game, but you, you watch the whole movie, you get to the end, and, uh, and then you find out something, <laughs> That makes you think the whole thing through, scene by scene. Well, we were told a story. We were played a movie in, in, uh, by the American media. And, uh, and then I got a chance to relive the whole movie from that perspective and see what, what might have been the motives of some of the people involved in that incident. So on the anniversary of that in incident, which is this Thursday, it's a really interesting time to reflect on more of the history of uh, the U.S. and the way that they decided to engage with Iran. So uh, we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking uh, to some storytellers who are exploring new technology as ways of reaching new audiences with these stories. And we're going to be talking to some extremely well-known and extremely well-spoken uh, members of the discussion about Iran-U.S. relations. Uh, uh, Stephen Kinzer, New York Times uh, reporter and best-selling author of All the Shah's Men. Uh, Professor, uh, Professor uh, Hamid Dabashi, chair of the Iran Studies Department at Columbia University. And uh, the event's going to be hosted by Amy Goodman uh, on the end. And we're going to uh, talk to Harold Moss and myself about uh, some of the technology and storytelling that's, that's behind some of these new efforts. I want to introduce three people who are, going to, who are going to talk and show you a couple of things before we start the discussion. Those three people are first Harold Moss of Flickr Lab. Now Flickr Lab is a, is a, a New York animation and technology student that, or, or studio that's a, a pioneer in ebooks and other, uh, other technology that are new ways of educating people. And, uh, we know that the world of education is changing. We know that uh, the, the, um, the tools are really important to get in people's hands, and, and those kinds of things are really important to Flickr Lab's mission. He'll tell you more about that. We're going to move on and, and, and talk to uh, Navid Khonsari, who is Iranian-born and director of the well, very well-known Grand Theft Auto franchise of video games. Uh, he is actually pioneering a new game uh, called uh, 1979 Revolution, in which people can take roles within the events of the uh, 1979 Iranian Revolution. It's a really exciting idea. Um, we're going to follow it with uh, a demonstration of our own iPad application, Operation Ajax, which explores the roots of the 1979 crisis, uh, the roots of uh, Mideast terror, and it does so by exploring the events from 1953 and before. 
So, um, and it's a lot of fun because it's all iPad-y and it's got secret files that open up and stuff. So you're going to see some cool stuff. And then we're going to uh, we're going to turn it over to Amy, who will start the discussion about uh, all previously mentioned things. Let's start with uh, Harold from Flickr Lab.